Here we are in Creality Print 5. You should download and install the latest version. By now, you should have a Creality Cloud account. If you do not, please make one now and return to the screen. Once here, go ahead and log in to your Creality Cloud account. To connect Creality Print to your Creality Cloud account, you will want to drag any file into your project. Once here, with any model dragged onto the bed, simply slice the plate as it is, and you will see the option to upload to Creality Cloud has illuminated. If this option is not showing, click on the arrow and re-choose Upload to Creality Cloud. With Upload to Creality Cloud illuminated, click on that button and you will be presented with a login for your Creality Cloud account. If it looks like this, you are already logged in and ready to upload. Let's go ahead and add our K2 Plus to Creality Print. Look up here on the left side of the screen for the word printer. If you don't see this, click on this icon right here. On this section, find the pull down menu, scroll down and click add. If this is your first time opening Creality Print, it will likely take you to the screen during the setup process. You can see flagship series is already chosen for you and you will find the K2 Plus right here. Go ahead and click on 0.4 millimeter. This is the nozzle that came pre-installed on your K2 Plus. Choose OK and you will be returned to the project screen looking at the K2 Plus bed. You can confirm this by looking up here and seeing K2 Plus 0.4 nozzle is showing. At the time of this video, the default profile is showing the wrong bed. While I do prefer smooth PEI plates, the K2 Plus does come with a textured PEI plate. Go ahead and switch to that. You are now ready to slice a model for your K2 Plus in Creality Print. We will cover that in another video. However, let's quickly go over your options to print from Creality Print to your K2 Plus. With a model on your bed, sliced and ready to go, enter the preview screen and look down here. You have three options. Export to local, where you can use a USB stick or a memory card, we won't be doing that. Land printing, where you can print directly to the printer from your computer here in Creality Print or upload to Creality Cloud where you can then log in to creatycloud.com and initiate the print from there. That is my preferred method of printing. However, should you simply like to send a print directly from Creality Print to your K2 Plus, go ahead and choose LAN Printing. Once on the screen, click the green button and you will see your K2 Plus is not showing. To connect your K2 Plus, simply click on Multi Machine. Once in here, choose Scan Add. You will see all of your machines on your current network. Go ahead and check K2 Plus and choose Add. With the K2 Plus now showing, return to Preview, close out that box, re-enter LAN Printing, and you will now be able to choose the K2 Plus to print directly from Creality Print. Notice you have the CFS installed and you will be able to tell it which filament within the CFS you will be using to print this model. Go ahead and press send G-code.